Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert. I've been working down here a little bit. Um, I've started adding Darkwood leaves um, from the Twilight Forest. I've started adding those, I collected them a while back. Um, just kind of as like a hedge. Uh, it's going to be, I think it contrasts that really dark, dense green. Contrasts really, really well with the Living Rock. This area still has a long ways to go <laughs> before it's done. But we're going to be doing some automation today that's going to help with building this area as well as finishing out a lot of the Thalmcraft area. So we're going to be working on that automation and then maybe some immersive engineering automation if we have time. Now back in here I did set up a couple little bays here and these are floating pure daisies. Just 15 of these um, set up in there. So we're going to be we're going to be using those because we're going to be setting up a little bit different of a system than I normally do. Normally I have it just fill a drawer Whenever there's no space in the drawer, it stops, you know, it stops filling. But we're going to be doing this by request because um, as I've been working on lag on the server, I've noticed that pure daisies, when they have blocks around them, even if they're not converting those blocks, well, actually, it's mainly when they're not converting those blocks. Like if they have living wood or living rock around them, they're not converting, but that stuff's still sitting there. For some reason, they cause a ton of lag because they're checking all the blocks around them just constantly. So I want to prevent that by just having this as a request system, and then we'll stock it with the AE system. So to do that, what we're gonna do, um, I also, oh, by the way, I also ran um, our P2P line. I ran it all the way down here, which actually didn't take that much, uh, that much cabling, because you can see that's the main section of our AE2 system. It was only like 30 blocks that I had to run uh, to plug into the P2P, and then I've got a P2P tunnel that comes out so we do have some channels here. I'm only currently using three of the channels, but we're going to be using a few more today. Um, and then subsequent episodes. This is going to be basically our Batania area line. Um, and then I've got ME crafting table, pattern terminal, and interface terminal. All right here. And basically this just converts over. It converts to Fluix and then it changes colors. So it's still on the cyan line. It's just, it kind of shifts colors midway. So... Um, anyways, I did prep up a couple things. I made a shape card, storage buses, semi interfaces. Uh, if you saw the test stream today, we were working on a bot uh, for the basically for Twitch integration, and you saw you would have saw me working on basically just prepping the stuff for this. I was a little bit behind, so I'm recording this like the night before <laughs> the night before it's gonna go it's gonna go out. But tomorrow I'll be able to have some time to catch up and get ahead on videos. So. Um, anyways, what we're going to need to do, uh, first up, we need to make ourselves two builders. I've actually got one builder. I made it in a test stream the other night, but I mean, these things are cheap at the moment. Um, and then if we open up here, I can't remember if we ever turned in the quest or not. Uh, no, we didn't. So there's a quest for a builder and also the shape card. We've done that. That's the void card, which I was using uh, downstairs. <laughs> it basically just destroys everything. But then there's also a shape card here that actually builds. Um, we're going to use that. So that quest is done. And then there's also one for a quarry card, which we're going to do uh, today. It's a little bit more effort. So anyways, we got three loot chests here. Let's see what we got. We got a revolver. Hey, look at that. Make my day. I was wanting to make one of these anyways at some point whenever I get around to it. And we just got one from request rewards. So that's good. Then we got 12 overclockers. Um... It's not bad. We can make use of that. And then we got two crafter tier threes. Also not bad. We can make use of that. I feel like we're, we're starting to get into some of the better quest rewards. Um, which actually... I've got seven in here. I've got some more downstairs. But I was needing another 20 for this machine anyways. So there we go. I'm glad I didn't pull out that transformer upgrade on accident. But anyways, we've got our crap, we've got our builders, we've got our shape card, and I also want um, a, well, it's a shape card, but I want a quarry shape card. This thing is a little bit expensive. It requires four machine frames. It requires Oslo glass hammerhead, Emanuel hammerhead, Enderium hammer, hammerhead, which we can do all of those pretty easily. But it also takes a Psy metal hammerhead. So we're going to have to get into just a little bit of Psy today, um, and then we're going to have to make a reinforced cell frame full. So this actually has a little bit of steps that we're going to have to do, um, but all very doable. So 
Let's go ahead. Uh, first up, I wanted the energy cell frame. Okay. We've got... Um, actually, we've got a hardened cell frame. I'm not sure where we got that hardened one from. Unless it was a quest reward, maybe. But I want to teach the us that if you take... Um, well, actually... I don't know how much redstone this is going to take. So, let me make a pattern here. Um, if we take this and we put it through the infusing factory with some compressed redstone, there's 40, uh, it takes 40 redstone. Okay, so let's order ourselves four of that compressed redstone. So if you take that and a machine frame, then you are going to get an energy, wait, is it, is, no, it's not that, it's, <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. You're going to get a hardened cell frame. And before I hit encode, I want to double check and just make sure. I don't think that we will be able to scan this. Usually, it, it like, whenever you have to tear stuff up. Yeah. Yeah, you can't scan that one. So, we'll go ahead and encode that. That's how you make machine frames. So, there we go. And that is right, right? I got the right one. No. That's how you make an energy self. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I swear, I'm like Derp Central over here. Well, actually, since we've got that one from our quest, we don't necessarily have to do all the empowering stuff. Um, I guess. <laughs> so, this right here, I mean, all we're really saving time on is this right here. Invar plate, steel rod, Invar gear, steel casing on an empower. We could totally pull that off. It's not very difficult. It takes a bit of power just to plug up the energy conduit since we don't have that set up for automation yet. But, since we've already got that, I'm going to see if this can be scanned. Okay, that cannot be scanned. Network engineer. Reach 128 channels using devices on the network. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of random, because I didn't, like, just plug up something or anything. Just, hey, you got it. Um, let's see. We want the uh, quarry card. Alright, so, uh, just the standard core. I don't need fortune clearing, clearing, or actually, I do need clearing quarry, but that's just glass on a quarry, so, okay, that's, that's unchanged. Um, so then we're going to have to get the reinforced cell frame. Okay, so we're going to need two silver gears, a redstone conductance coil. Oh, that's, that's reception. Um, what does it take to make the conductance coil? It is Electrum with compressed redstone. And I'm assuming that it is one craft or one redstone per. Let's see, it's two compressed redstone to make the reception coil. So I'm assuming that's probably the same uh, for this. We just got like a lot of like crafting steps for this. So that, and then if we do Electrum into the infusing factory, yes, that is right. There we go, and chest. I have a feeling we're going to need additional infusing factories by the time we're all done with all of this. Okay, so conductance coil, then we need these silver gears, um, which are not automated at the moment. Okay, well let me teach it that if it takes silver, and I've come to find that I think the gears and stuff are fine just doing one-to-one -one ratios instead of doing the big ones, uh, the big amounts, because it, it pumps it out about as fast as it's crafting. You know, it's fast, so. Um, but we only needed, I think, two of those, so. Okay, and then we need Flux Electrum. We need Electrum Large Plate and Flux Crystal, which this, uh, we can do it through the metal press. Isn't that nice? Oh, but we're gonna need a plate mold, and I don't have any set up with plates. Bah. <laughs> and my room's not set up for, an I'll, I'll set up another one, I guess. Because I'll eventually probably want to automate that. Uh, for right now, until I get that changed over, we'll do it a little bit differently. Uh, the destabilized redstone. See, I can do this in the smeltery with uh, uh, just redstone. That'll be fine. So, I needed... How much of that did I need again? Two crystals? That makes two. Okay. So, let me get... Um, we're going to have to do just a little bit of smeltery work here. Let me get... 10 redstone, and let me get 8 
Electrum. I can't remember how much Osgo glass we have in there from last episode either. Um, so what we're going to need to do, let's get ourselves, let's melt up this Electrum. And then I've got, okay, I've got two manual in, in there at the moment. So let's see. And then I've got five ingots of Osgo glass, so I'm going to have to get some more Osgo glass gl uh, going. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, so we're going to need five and five. That. And then we're going to get some Enderium smelting up as well. Uh, the Electrum, we're going to pump this out as a plate. And then we're going to need a Hammerhead cast for this other stuff. Because I need to make a Manulin Hammerhead cast, uh, Enderium, Osgo glass. Let me go get the stuff to make another uh, two ingots of Osgo glass. And then I also need the redstone. I need to melt that down as well. But there's our manual and hammerhead. And I'll get the enderium one poured. And then I'm going to need just a bucket of that destabilized redstone. So if this works, if not, I can just make a, a fluid tank, like an enderio fluid tank, and pump it into that. Either will work. But I'm hoping this will just work, be easier. Okay, make me a bucket of destabilized redstone. And then that's really most of it. Uh, the flux, we're going to have to get some of that flux electrum. Um, which this, we can just make the blend, which is a bucket of destabilized redstone. I don't know if there's another method that we can do for that at the moment. Well, we can do uh, this, which we would need, uh, we need the melter, which I think we already made the melter. Um, and we could do it through the fluid infuser. Which technically I think we could just get our buckets that way as well. Um, I'll see if we have a, me a melter and a fluid infuser. If so, we'll do it that way. Okay, so we'll just craft our flux crystals. I'm not going to automate that recipe because later on we're going to do it with the fluid transposer. So, um, And then all we need is the, let's see, the frame. We're going for this one. Uh, which we're going to have to make some lumium as well. It's fine. Fluid infuser is what we need. I can just make one of these. I think we've got one, but I think it's over there. It's part of the automation setup. So I'm going to need a machine chassis and then just some more advanced plating. Machine chassis. Did I not automate that, really? Okay, so now we need just some power. And I've got this power cell over here. This was doing the carpenters for the seed oil. Let's go ahead and just move this over um, to like right there for right now. Melter, fluid infuser, and then let's go get ourselves a couple of the speed upgrades. Let's do like 20. And then let me also grab a pressurized fluid conduit. Then we're going to need uh, two pieces of electrum. And we are going to need uh, two pieces of, uh, oh, it's two pieces of redstone per. So we're going to need four pieces of redstone and then those speed upgrades. Which later on, this will probably be the same method that we used to automate. We're probably going to use melters and fluid infusers instead of uh, the Thalmcraft, the uh, <laughs> thermal, the thermal uh, fluid system because it's just faster. So we're going to drop that in there. Pow! It's done. I mean, even at full speed, I mean, nuclear craft's going to outweigh. I think just with ten speed upgrades, it's faster than a fully upgraded thermal system. There we go. There's two fluxed electrum. And then we just have to turn this into plates. I'm going to teach it a quick recipe here. I'm going to say that if you, because we are eventually going to be automating these and needing plates and stuff like that. So we're going to say that if you take two of these and you send them up to the metal former, it's going, <laughs> it's so fast. Like, it's just so fast. Like, it's funny because if I order something that goes into just goes into those machines, you know, and it's done, um, it is done faster than, than AE2 can bring me back to this menu. Like, as soon as I hit start, like, it's done before, like, in that split second that it comes back into here. It's so funny. Um, oh, I've got a block of... <laughs> well, there we go. I've got a block of that, I guess, from my quest reward as well, so... But we might as well just teach it this stuff. It really wasn't that hard to make, so... Um, and then I want to put this into a metal former. So you go... That'd be into this one. That's the rolling one. 
I got lucky. I just happened to stick it in one that was set to rolling. I forgot I had one that was set to cutting or extruding there. Okay, and then just a really quick recipe to make the reinforced cell frame. There's how you do it. And then the, the other frame that we need to make. This one right here, I cannot do this through anything but the fluid in, uh, transposer. And it needs an uh, internal buffer of 250,000 RF or more. So we're going to have to upgrade it. That's fine. Uh, the fluid transposer. Since I don't think we've made one of these, they're not expensive, really. We're going to need two of these portable tanks. And then we're also going to want a carpenter. Okay, so there's the fluid transposer, which will complete a quest, but I don't think... I don't think we've got far enough, uh, yeah, we haven't gotten to all that stuff. Okay, and let me also go ahead and get, uh, that frame. I never, I, I didn't actually craft it, I just made the recipe for it. So, there's that. Get all that stuff out of our inventory. And actually, I need to pop down and get that other hammerhead going. We're about to have to do a little bit of sigh. Uh, it's not too difficult. It's not even that much Psy, really, to get Psy metal. Okay, so we'll set that up. Uh, it's got 150,000. I mean, it said we it said we needed uh, 250,000. So what we're gonna need to do? How much uh, how much redstone do we need for this? I think it's like 40. Or I know it's lumium. Okay. And this stuff we can make in the melter with lumium ingots. We're gonna have to make a little bit of alloys here. That's fine. Uh, let me drop this into here. And I've actually got a kit. We got these a while back, the Resonant Conversion Kit. Fully upgrades a block to a given tier. I tell you what, let's go ahead and just grab one of those. It's going to be more RF than what we need in this. I mean, that's 450,000 RF. That's fine. Let's go ahead. And we'll just set this up actually right here. And we'll connect that up right there. Um, then we have to make the Lumium. So we need 576 millibuckets of Lumium. Uh, what we're going to do is we need to make this, uh, there's a, there's an alloy that we need to make for this. And I want to automate making that alloy. Um, so to do this, we can make it in the, uh, fluid infuser with a little bit of energized glowstone, but we have to make this 10 silver alloy, which is just 10 and silver. So let's say that if you take 30 10 and 10 silver, and you run it through the alloy furnace, you're going to get a whole bunch of this tin silver alloy. And then this glowstone, it should be, um, let's see, let's take, it's 250 millibuckets per on glowstone. So if we just do a half stack with a half stack, it'll be good. So drop that in the melter. We are going to get, uh, oh yeah, let me set this to extract, is always active. And then the fluid transposer, we're going to say that you can insert on the left-hand side. There we go. And we'll start running that and getting our lumium. We could actually have done that, I think. Uh, wait, can we do that through the, I think we can do that through the other machine. But we've got, <laughs> we've got both of these set up, so... The fluid infuser. Yeah, we could make lumium through that. So that's probably what we'll do. You'll notice this is a whole lot slower than nuclear craft. Even if we added full speed upgrades, it would still be a whole lot slower than nuclear craft. Because if we were to push this like 20 speed upgrades, it's like instant. So there's that. And then we needed uh, 576 of this. Which that's what? Four lumium? Drop that into there and... Is it running? It's running. It's just really slow about it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, we got that running. And if we take a look at the card, um, that's actually the worst part of it. Basically. <laughs> um, that's the reinforced cell frame. We've got the Osgo glass hammer, the manual, and the enderium. So all we need now is the psi metal hammerhead. This is a little bit of work to get this set up. I mean, there's a ton of different ways that you could do this, and there's other blocks that you could use instead of the builder, but the builder's fast, and I want a fast setup for this. So we're doing a little bit of work, but it's going to be worth it uh, here in just a second. Okay, so the Psy. 
stuff. What we're going to need to do is we're going to we're going to need to make a couple things. We're going to have to make a rod constructor and a spell inscriber. Uh, to really well, spell inscriber we have to get side dust. I think right now we just need the rod constructor. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get our rod constructor. Um, we need two mana powder. That's standard recipe. So let's just grab two of those. And then redstone into the mana pool. There we go. And there is our rod constructor. And I'm not sure. There's a there's a gate quest for Psy. Uh, okay. Yeah. There we go. And we get just a loot chest. So we'll go ahead and take that. There's also one for X Nahilo. We need to get that, but we're not going to be doing X Nahilo within this series. So we got 64 clear purple stained glass. <laughs> Great. Um, let's set down our rod constructor right here. And this one, this is a little bit different than standard side because it's magical side. It's not different in the in the practice of it. It's just the uh, a lot of this stuff like this is all different. It it's basically magical side is like a retexture mainly, and then I think it, it changes the names too. So, okay, so what we need to do is we need to make ourselves um, one of these right here. This iron, uh, well, we can do iron rod, gold rod. Let's see, gold, you see the efficiency and the potency. Um, a little bit lower efficiency on the gold, but it's higher potency. Um, I don't think, for our purposes, it's not really going to matter. So let's just get ourselves... Uh, we'll go with a gold one. Looks cooler. So We may do a little bit with Psy, like make a few spells and stuff, but nothing... Uh, we'll probably not do anything too elaborate. So that's the stats. Right now we can't, we're not going to worry about these four slots. We just need the basic... We're getting started with Psy <laughs> uh, Rod, so we'll go ahead and grab that. And then I've got to remember the Keybind. Uh, no, I don't want to toss it down. Um, I can't remember the Keybind that we need for this. Magical Psy Master Keybind, is that it? Yes, uh, Psy has found save data from a previous world. Would you like to load it? Basically what this does... Um, it says we'll be taken instantly to level 28. That's because I've done side before, and it basically just lets us skip all the tutorials. So, um, if you haven't done Psy, do the tutorials. They teach you pretty much everything you need to know about Psy. It's really in-depth. It's basically like uh, Steve's factory manager for spell creation. Um, you can make spells. Some of them, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. Okay, now I've got to go through and just basically learn all of these. Like this. Because I've done all of these before. So, um, I've got to remember how... Psydust is, I believe it is just... Redstone on the ground. We'll try that. Yes, okay. I was thinking, I think it's redstone. That thing, that little bar on the right is your mana. So, you know, as your mana wears down, once it gets so low, you can't really cast spells. If you cast spells, whenever your mana gets really low, you take damage. Um, so just be careful when you start casting big spells it becomes kind of more of an issue So but anyways, there's 64 Psy dust and what we need is the Which like I said, we'll do a little bit more with Psy. I do want to use it for building and stuff like that right now I just want uh, The card <laughs> is what I want, but for this we need Psy metal So we're gonna well actually we can use Psy dust you get one ingot huh. That's interesting Huh, okay. Well, that's all the side that we have to do for right this second. <laughs> like I said, we will do more with side. We haven't even made the spell creation table and all that stuff, but we will do a little bit more with it. Just, I mean, I'm not going to go super, oh my gosh, crazy with side, but I will show you guys the spell casting table and all that. Just a little bit of, a little bit of Psy. So, I'm surprised that Psy Dust makes Psy Metal. I mean, it's not really much different, but Psy Metal, if I recall Psy Metal, you needed gold, I think it was, to make Psy Metal. Okay, that was a little bit quicker than I expected. There is our... Oh, wait. <laughs> I gotta go grab that uh, that frame up here. And I'm gonna double check. I'm assuming that we probably cannot scan this. But I like to check, just to make sure. No, we cannot. Which is probably a good thing. That would take a little bit of automation out if we were able to scan that. Uh, there is our shape card quarry. Dun, dun, dun. Quest complete. 
let's go ahead and claim that. So we finished all the builder quests. And we got eight chicken curry. And then I want to get some glass. There is our clearing quarry card. Okay, so we've got our shape card. We've got our clearing card. Uh, we've got our builders. The next thing we're going to want, we've already got an interface. We're going to want just a chest. And I'm going to go with uh, the gold chest. That's fine. And then um, let me get, I've got Fluix cable right here. Got my painter. Let me set this back to cyan. Then there's a couple recipes we're going to have to set up. There's actually, there's a couple things we're going to have to do because we're also going to have to automate infused wood. Um, we are going to do that. But one thing I want to go ahead and automate is living, uh, or not, not living rock. I want arcane stones because we use these to make living rock. So this recipe right here, and then you're going to take a V crystal. So we'll just say, you know, air V crystal. Um, or dictionary substitutions that allows substitutions of input components. I want to select that and make sure that's selected. So it can use any of these V crystals if it needs to. And we'll go ahead and encode. It should be able to use all of them, I think. Um, because I believe these are all the same thing. They're just different MBT tags. So, yeah, they're all the same. Uh, they're 7355. Um, and we're just going to drop this right into there. That's how you make Arcane Stone. And then we'll go ahead and set up the automation and we'll teach you how to make Living Rock. Um, well, actually, let me go ahead and make the rest. Well, I can make the recipes down there. I've got a pattern uh, system set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up like right back here. Okay. So it's just going to be setting right down here. Just out of the way, kind of hidden. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a builder that sets right here. And on top of it is going to be a gold chest. Right behind the gold chest, Emmy interface. And we're going to just right click back of that. And then right behind that is going to be another builder. Okay, that's the entire system <laughs> as far as what we have, uh, what we need to set up. And so what we're going to do is this, basically this interface is going to get the recipes. So we're going to say that you make living rock, you make living wood here. It pumps into this gold chest. This quarry is going to be building. We're going to take our shape card and we're just going to shift right click the builder. Um, I also have to set up a power cell. I'll get that here in just a second. And we're going to say that you're going to build from... This position all the way over to this position okay and then we're going to open this up it's a solid box that's good and we're going to just pop over here we're going to put this into the builder and we're going to say ignore redstone I'm gonna set that to don't wait on a position if the operation is not possible and then we are also going to, well, actually, that's all we need for that one. There's one other thing we're going to need for the clearing one. We'll get that here in a second. I almost forgot about that. And that would be bad if we did forget about it. So let me order a power cell real quick. And a power cell card. And let me pop up. Let me go, uh, or actually, you know what? Right down here, there is a power cell where I did the void quarry system. So pop that into there. There we go. Link ID 44. Five. Uh, I'll just use a single energy conduit just to connect this over. Uh, so we'll have power cell setting right there. Energy runs over like that. Output. And there you go. Okay, so this has power. So now if we were to take, let's take, uh, we're going to do these like a stack at a time. So if we were to set up a pattern here, we're going to say it's processing if you take 64 arcane stone and you put it into this chest, this might actually want some redstone. Let me just get a lever and we're going to set this to on to activate. Um, don't wait on a position if the operation's not possible. Uh, 
keep running with redstone signal and block sounds are muted because we don't want we don't want to hear that uh, well no actually we'll leave it on <laughs> and actually on this one we're going to do the same thing on to activate uh, keep running with redstone signal and don't wait on a position if the operation is not possible and we are going to just put that there right click and you can see the stone just got pulled out if we pop up here there's all the arcane stone it's just right around the pure daisies and then I almost feel like I should make it send two stacks <laughs> just so like do two stacks at a time just so it's like all nice and filled out but go ahead and send me like uh, give me like another 120 of this okay so if you send two stacks of arcane stone and let me dump in, because I know I don't have any living rock. We'll go ahead and just dump that in there. It's going to be a little bit left over, but if we take a look right over here, you can see it's converting all of that. And normally it's not going to be filled up with arcane stone, just whenever it happens to run, it's going to fill it up. And then, um, which I could actually cut down on like eight of these. So maybe instead, let's do that. Let's send it just enough, basically, to fill it out. So we'll say if you send 64 and 56 over. Um, and then what we need to do is I need to make a filter from RF Tools, a filter module. And then I'm going to need uh, a piece of living rock and a piece of... Oh, no. <laughs> That's not what I want. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got a pure daisy right here and I've got some infused wood so let's just lay this out no, I'll just go ahead and do eight of them we'll go ahead and lay that out and then I'm um, while we're waiting on that I want to go ahead and automate infused wood so I'm gonna need a bucket of liquid starlight uh, to do this let me pop over to the temporary astral area which has got to load up a little bit of Twilight Forest. I've got this set up, just pressurized fluid conduit pulling out of the light well, and we've got 52 buckets of liquid starlight. <laughs> Haven't really done much other astral sorcery, you know, but we're going to be doing that stuff soon. But And let's pop back down to the Batania area, and I think the liquid starlight set up... Yeah, see, look at all that living rock. Great. The liquid starlight area, I th think we are going to set this up like... Um, I'm actually thinking about having it right here. That's where we originally had it. But I think that I actually want to keep it here. And I'll place out a few blocks like that. And then right here, um, I'm going to do our bucket of liquid starlight right there. And let's get ourselves a... Do I want to do a plane? I wish planes could accept like recipe cards that would be great oh this living wood is done let's go ahead and do this because these do produce a little bit of lag so i don't want to leave them sitting there with all that living rock uh, for a bit so we're going to take our filter module we're going to shift right click we're going to say whitelist items or dictionary matching is off uh, we're going to say it's on damage must match mbt must match and then we're going to come over here and we're going to put that right into there. Then we're going to set up a clearing quarry card. We're going to shift right click the builder. We are going to shift right click right there. And let me actually pull this stuff up a little bit here. We are going to shift right click right there. And then if we put this, and the reason we're using the filter is so it doesn't break my leaves. So, if we put this right into there, we're going to be doing a bit of sigh here soon to make decorative blocks, because I do want, I do want me some sigh decorative blocks, for sure. Okay, so the, if we take a look in here, we have 133 living rock now. That's because it basically, um... Whenever it runs, like the interface dumps in this chest, the builder uses the chest above it to build. This builder collects the stuff and dumps it into the inventory above it, which is our interface. So it feeds it right back into the system. 
So then we can set up our pattern here. We're going to say that makes a stack and 56 living rock. And then all we have to do is just dump it into this interface. And there we go. Now, if I was to come in here and we've got 116 arcane stone, let's grab like a stack of this and let's order ourselves living rock. Okay. And we give it just a second. It's going to craft up some arcane stone and there we go. It fills it up. And if we give it a bit, I think it's 60 seconds to convert, if I recall correctly. But I'm doing this in bulk. That way it just crafts it out quick. Um, but we're also going to have it stocked as well. Plus it looks kind of cool setting over there, I think. And then I'll probably do like a little railing over here on top of this overgrown stone. Like a little railing. And then you can see all this arcane stone. And it's all like, it's all spiffy and magical. There we go. So you can see the living rock and then it pew, just gets ripped apart. And then we're back to this like nice scenic little bay area with the pure daisies. And it's going to be the same way with the living wood. All we need to do is we just have to get the, uh, the infused wood automated. So right here we're going to do a interface sitting right there. And just because I'm really OCD about it, you don't really have to do this part. I'm crazy wild like that. I'm going to right click the back of that. Uh, then right here, we're going to set up a dropper. Um, well, let's do... Uh, we could do the automatic precision. Actually, this right here. Precise dropper should work. And if we took uh, wood... And I'm going to set up a pattern right here. And I'm going to say that... Uh, I'm going to say that if you take a stack of oak wood... And we're going to set up our precision dropper right there. Um, this takes RF, really. Uh, we're going to say that you drop a stack. There's zero delay. Uh, let me just get a power cell. <laughs> I mean, I've got a power cell not even five feet away from it, but I don't mind adding more of these because it's basically it's kind of nice because it's it's just more power storage is is the way to, that I look at it anyways. So you set up more power cells and you're making basically more of a capacitor bank. And you're also getting some power connections. So. And we like having lots of numbers on our power storage. So uh, let me set this to output. And this should be getting... Oh yeah, it's got power. It's just not displaying it. Uh, if we drop this into there, it throws it at me. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we are going to, let's see, I don't know if I want to scoot this back or if I want to leave it there. Actually, let me, let me try something. I think I like that. And then right in here, we would do the sneaky false blocks because I love these things. And then we can walk through here to the uh, RF tools builders. So... And I think that would be good because this this area still got to be shaped up a whole lot. Like there's a whole lot of shaping up that's going to be going on here. But uh, I think I like that more. And then this is this is probably going to get a pillar. I might actually there'll probably be some decorations here, but that way I kind of have like a two wide section because there's some stuff I want to put up there, which we'll get into. So I mean I could shift it back. It's not all that much to move it back, but. Now that I have Living Rock, I'm going to be working in the section, so hopefully it'll all make sense in the next, like after I do a little bit of building down here. Um, Mana Glass is going to, this actually has to change that. Then we're going to do Mana Glass across the front of this. And then um, all I need to do is, if I go back in here, if I drop this into there, it gets thrown out of the front of it. We take a look in here. I got I to gotta set up a magnet system. There we go. There's some infused wood. Um, let me actually pull this up for just a second. There's our 64 infused wood. We'll put that back. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a collector. Um, and actually, we've got this range collector from actually additions from a quest reward. We'll use that. Um, and then we'll use... Uh, Let's go with just an item duct. I really want impulse item ducts. But it's not going to be that big of a difference. These move 32, so it, like in two, two seconds it'll move all the items out. 
And we're going to set up the range collector setting right here. We're going to say redstone mode is deactivation. That's fine. Uh, whitelist, infused wood. Respecting metadata. Uh, these don't really matter. So um, pull up infused wood and then we'll have the item duct right there. Reinforce servo there and we're going to say ignore redstone. And oh my gosh, this weird bug. Okay, let me relog. It's the weirdest bug. Like, it's like, haha, you're now wearing <laughs> you're now wearing uh, storage buses and leaves and stuff like that. Okay, so there's the recipe that we're going to need. We're just going to put this right into there, and then we just have to plug this up uh, to this cable line. We bring that down. There we go. And then if we take a look in here, we should have infused wood available. Well, after it connects, there we go. And let's say order 100 of this. Okay, uh, 20, 128 oak wood makes 128 infused wood. And my magnet's actually going to mess it up right now. So I need to like, I got to sip a, a thing for it, but that's fine. We'll do, well, naturally we're going to do a flower for it. But there we go. We now have 223 infused wood. And that should be, yeah, it's got everything. I couldn't remember how much infused wood we had. Okay, so then we're going to set up a really quick recipe and say that if you take 64 to 56 infused wood and you send all this infused wood over and it goes into the builder, it's going to build it. There we go. The infused wood is running. It's going to make living wood. Then we just have to tell the... Well, actually the... The miner's already going to mine it because I've already set that in there as living wood, right? So as soon as this gets done, it's going to get mined up by the other builder. And then all we have to do is set up the recipe. Living wood, living rock will be automated. And then all we have to do um, while that stuff is running, um, let's pop upstairs. <laughs> I couldn't remember where my teleport was. Let's pop upstairs. Let's get ourselves just a couple drawers. Um, I'm just going to use these and we're going to add these to the stocking area. Chances are it will make a couple, you know, there'll be a couple extra that's in the storage disk, but generally whenever you craft something, it uses the stuff that's in the storage disk before it uses the stuff that's stored like in drawers and stuff like that. So that's not a problem. Let me get uh, a little bit of this living wood and let me get a little bit of this living rock and we'll pop stairs. We'll grab our key. I may actually have to do another export bus on this. Cause I'm yeah, because I'm using eight slots there. That's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, so right up here, we'll set these drawers up. We are going to set up uh, which actually I'll add another export bus. I'm not gonna do both of them right this second because this is all running. Um, I don't it can do both, but it's gonna fill up the chest with like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and so I'm going to have one run for a little bit. Yeah, see that living wood's gone. And we're going to say you get 64 and 56 living wood. Okay. And then all we have to do is just slot this living wood, living rock, both fully automated. And then all we have to do is pop up here, pop upstairs. And uh, we're going to, we'll start with living wood. I'm going to slot it right there. Living rock, slot right there. The living wood, I'm going to run this first because I need a lot of this stuff right now. Put it right in there. And then I just have to set up another export bus with the crafting card, capacity cards. You know, no biggie. If we pop downstairs now, if we go back down to the IE2 system, it should, or back to the Batania area, it should have auto-requested. There we go. We got here just in time to see the infused wood got done. It placed it. It's crafting more living wood. So, yay. <laughs> that works. It's going to keep crafting that until it fills up a drawer with, what is it, 64 stacks? Honestly, the living rock, I'm probably going to tone it down just a little bit. Um, honestly, I probably could have just done two 
like a double drawer with like you know 32 stacks each and been done i mean 64 stacks of living wood it's gonna be quite a bit but i'm gonna use quite a bit of it for building so that's no problem and wood is free um arcane stone's a little bit more tricky right this second because we're gonna run out of e crystals so i'm probably gonna tone that draw down to like 32 or 16 stacks i think that'll be more than enough for our needs because it crafts i mean it crafts so much so fast like so easily so but anyways i do believe that i'm going to end out this episode here because we have came saw and conquered what we wanted to do so i'm pretty happy with it so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode we don't have time to get into any immersive engineering today maybe next episode but uh, we'll see we'll see where things go but also if you haven't um if you haven't heard through the grapevine um, I am streaming now on Twitch, so you're welcome to join me. I, I've been streaming at 2 Central. I'm also probably, before too long, I'm going to start uh, later at night, Enigmatica, hangout, building type streams. So just a heads up on that. Look at all that. Pull out all that living wood. And it's going to make some more infused wood, and then it's going it's to repeat. So we'll get to see it repeat again. Um, but you're more than welcome to stop by um, on my Twitch and I'll include a link down in the description for my Twitch as well. So just a heads up. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions on what we covered today, be sure and let me know down in the comments. And I'll do my best to get those answered for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.